time in block history, we are renovating five houses in one cul-de-sac. And we've been talking about it all through the series and how it really is the great Australian dream. Have we overplayed that a little bit, Alice, or is the cul-de-sac what every family wants? I think it is what every family wants. You've got no little traffic coming through, so you have this absolute beautiful idea that you can play cricket in the street, bushy, do whatever it is you want without cars screaming past. You do feel like it's your own personal playground. I absolutely think so, and I think as our cities are getting busier and busier, it's even more and more covetable. Are they really designed for family lifestyles or would singles and couples find it just as great to live in a spot like this? Look, I think it's I think it's ideal for families, but I think what single or couple wouldn't also love the beauty of not having trucks teeming past all the time and problems with parking. It does create that lovely idea of a community and neighbourhood and I think during COVID we saw so many Australians really put that as a high priority. We've had this wonderful opportunity to be able to streetscape the entire cul-de-sac this time and Dave Franklin and his team are doing that with this sort of new urban planting, which I think is a first again here and something that maybe you could do as a neighbourhood project. This is one of my favourite parts of the block this season, I think this idea of leaving things so much better than how they were found. And I think we saw community gardens really evolving a couple of years ago where people were sharing their vegetables and in their planter boxes and I think to beautify a street is such a lovely injection of warmth and building that lovely presence in the neighbourhood is just utterly gorgeous. And I think it makes it a destination. People want to be around streets like this. It really improves the value of the whole street overall. We're hoping for that on auction day, of course. <laughs> but in a few short days' time, this is going to be paradise. And a beautiful home for someone in the future.